Alrighty, let's get this out of the way right now. Yes, video game developers do indeed have magical teleporting powers, as you could clearly see in the last video. Or it could just be my crappy editing, because the original recording crapped out on me here and there. <laughs> so I had to re-record some stuff and uh, put it in. That's why people was teleporting around. But not only that, uh, there, there is actually a item in the developer's room that I did not re-record, so I actually kind of forgot about it. I didn't forget about the item, I just forgot to record the part that I got the item. I still forgot something, damn it. And that item is actually behind this pillar. I already gotten it, but just go behind here and press the circle button and you will get the Valkyrie. A crest in the form of a female warrior. Yep, it's actually another summoning item. But gee, I wonder who it will summon. Hmm, I think maybe... Odin. Yeah, totally. <laughs> But now, let's go on to the real video. So, take it away, half an hour into the future me. Thank you, thank you. Wow, what a guy, huh? That introduction, very, very good. <laughs> hey there, everyone, Polkifanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time, we finished off most of the remaining optional side stuff. And I also kind of failed a little bit in the developer's office. No, you failed a lot. Hey, no. Your time in this video is over. But, you go but. back to Symphonia. <laughs> okay. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, oh, yeah. And we also got Stan's second to last sacred skill. Assassin, also known as Final Fury. And today, it is time for f to finally do some things that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. Me included, actually. Today, we are gonna go to the optional dungeon, which is by far the most rewarding side quest in the game. So, do anyone recognize this place that I'm standing in right now? Anyone? No? What if I go up here? Yeah, this is the place where we met Rudy for the first time. So, uh, I guess the fact that Rudy actually went to get this, the uh, old cane from this place is actually a little hint, because this is where you want to use it. So, let's go up and let's use it. If you have Mary with you, she will actually tell you what this, what the name of this place is, but uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't have her actually, because I don't want to spoil it. Do you want to place a green crystal rod? Yes, I do. You only live once, so why not? Indeed, Stan. Let's place in the pedestal. Oh, there's still encounters here. Yeah. Enemies from the beginning of the game, how nice. Talk about waste of TP, Rudy. She cast Blizzard on those poor slugs. The red crystal rod. What the hell, let's do it. I agree with you, Stan. And now, the final one. The blue crystal rod. What do we have got to lose? Actually, about an hour or so of your life, I will say. <laughs> yeah, it's a long dungeon. And... Very simple, it opened. And the music changed too, okay. So, I guess we just have to go. Yeah, let's go. And, welcome to the Tower of Druaga. Holy crap, Namco, you got way too much free time on your hands. Remember this place, Button Kaitos, where there was one floor out of the uh, original arcade game? Well, in this game, it's a side quest, a optional dungeon. And there's 60 floors. Yeah, 60! And there's awesome loot to get too. Now, for those who haven't played the original uh, Tower of Turaga, it's basically a puzzle game. You need to do special things for treasures and stuff to pop up. And it's the same here. You see, we have a treasure chest right there. On the first floor, the treasure chest is always there waiting for you. And there are also enemies uh, sliding around. So, how about we get the treasure chest first? We get wing boots. Okay, not bad. Now let's fight this green slime thingy. Which is definitely a new enemy. 
It is a green slime, yeah. Surprising, I know. <laughs> oh, what a combo, what a combo. Now, I will say that the... Wow! The enemies in this place can be incredibly tough. And there is always four of them in the battle. Yeah, also finisher! Thank you, Stan, I needed that. And, uh, as I said, it's a puzzle place. It's a pus puzzle dungeon, pretty much. And, uh, level up. Most of the floors, you, or at least some of the floors, you need to kill that and that enemy for, to make the, uh, the chest appear. And, by the way, you can also break walls with the circle button. I don't know why I waited so long to say that. But, as you see, we have the door right there to the next floor. But we can't enter it yet until we get a key. So, let's see in the, if we can find a key. And there it is. Good. The layout of the dungeon is always random, but some of the floors are uh, modeled after stages in the original Tower of Draga. I won't be able to tell you which ones are from the original game, since it's been ages since I played the full game. But there's probably someone else gonna tell you. I mean, maybe there's some Tower of Draga fanatics out there that's gonna tell you everything. <laughs> and yes, I said it was 60 floors, and I'm taking this long for the first floor. Believe me, it won't take that long. Let's take the key, and let's go on to the second floor. Which is where the things get a little bit more interesting. And I love the remade music, by the way. It's fantastic. So, to make the treasure chest appear on this floor, we want to kill at least two of the groups of black slimes here. There are three, and we want to kill at least two of them. Black Slimes, they are pretty much the same, except they're a little bit... They got a little bit more HP, and they can hit a little bit harder. But hell, they're Slimes. They can't really do much. <laughs> the enemies will get tougher, though, as higher you get. I mean, I don't think that's a huge surprise. I will recommend you to be around... Well, 48 plus... At least on stand when you enter this place for the first time. The enemies will be a bit tough. I'm not gonna lie. And yes, I will be cutting battles out now. And there you see the treasure chest just appeared out of nowhere. We get the dash ring. Which... Do we have one already? No, we do not actually. A ring that enables the user to dash at any time. If you equip it, you can just double press the directional buttons and you will dash. In the semi-auto mode. Pretty useless, actually. So, now that we got the treasure chest, there is really... That's the key. There is really no point in us staying on this floor anymore, so... Let's go and let's find the door. You can, of course, kill all the enemies if you really want to. It's good experience. This place is fantastic for level grinding. But I won't do that. Because I think I will... Be get, I'll be getting a lot of level ups out of just being here, so it's really no, no big deal. <laughs> Alrighty, so floor 3. We get the key right away, actually. To get the treasure chest here, you need to find exactly one green slime and one blue knight. The problem is, the thing you get is just a life bottle. And if you already have 15... Oh, wow. If you already have the maximum amount of, uh, of the item that you get in the treasure chest, the chest will not appear. So the next chest will not appear for me because I already have 15 life bottles with me. So, I think I'm just gonna skip now and after this battle and go straight to the next floor since there's really no point in me staying on this one anymore. <laughs> and the next floor we will get something better. I will say at least. As I said though, the treasures or the uh, the loot you get on this in this dungeon is fantastic. Most of it is actually the best equipment in the game. And as you see, the floors are already going on a lot faster. And no, I will actually not be... Uh, be uh, going through the whole place in one video. Okay, so this floor... Oh god, we got magicians now. Yeah, they will shoot at you. They are easy enough to dodge those since you can break walls and all. On this floor, to get the... Uh, chest to appear, you want to find the door. Ignore the key. Oh, magician. Ah. Let's see, where is the door? You can fight as many enemies as you want, by the way, and you can also fight the magician. Check the door. And now we can go... Oh, 
It just appeared, okay. Just check the door and the chest will appear. I thought you had to pick up the key too, but I guess not. We get the P charm. That's paralysis charm, I mean. Which, of course, protects against paralysis. Not bad. So, let's get the key and, you know what? I want to fight you. Just because you've been shooting at me for so long now. You must die. Mage. Oh, wow, they look... Interesting. Ow! Uh-oh. Ow! They can cast Cycle... Okay, this is gonna hurt a lot. They're mages after all. Go stand, go stand! No! Okay. Um... This is gonna hurt. Come on! Kill him! Oh, okay, at least stop him. Whew, okay. Oh, they can teleport too, cool. Let's see, let's try this solve on him. Just because I can. Or not. Uh, Chelsea, can you do anything, please? Force arrow of his ass. Thank you. Oh, she killed him too. <laughs> awesome, Chelsea. Awesome. Ah, adorable. <laughs> oh, level up. Nice. That was probably the most. No, oh, it was Stan, actually. Cool. Okay, let's go to the door. Uh, where was the door again? Can you move slime? No? Ah! I don't really like it when the enemies are getting in your way on purpose. That happens a lot, actually, in this place. There we go. Okay, so for floor 5 is probably where things get started to get interesting. Because on this one, you need to avoid the mage as like the plague. And you see there's more of them now. And then you actually want to go get into a battle. And get hit at least once. Yes, I am not even kidding. We want to get hit on purpose. There we go. And make sure that you do not... Okay, she heals those people. That's uh, that's fine. You do not want to heal up after you get hit. That one time. So let's kill these guys off before we get healed. She is healing the other ones after the, uh, the mage disaster. So that's not that bad. And now the chest should appear. Unless I did something wrong. <laughs> Let's see. After the uh, chest appears, though, you are allowed to get hit by the mage, by the way. Uh, that's the key. Whoa! Okay, there's a lot of mages, actually. Pick up the key, and where is the damn chest? Ugh. I am not taking my chances on this. Oh, <laughs> that was not on purpose. I also forgot to mention... There's a chest. I also forgot to mention that you cannot run away from any battles in the tower. Anyway, let's see if I did this right. We get... Yes! We get the white sword. Ow! Yeah, the mage, if they hit you, they will do around 2% of your HP. Not that bad, really. The white sword. A holy sword with a white blade. Cuts cleanly. As you see, it is amazing. It is a fantastic weapon for Mary. If you got her with you, but I don't, so I don't really care. But, uh, yeah, you can actually not run away from any battles in the tower. Which, I don't really mind, really, since it's incredibly good experience. I also forgot to mention that if you actually get hit by a mage before the treasure chest pops up, you will <laughs> get a uh, <laughs> kind of not worth it thing. You will actually get a long sword instead of the white sword. Totally worth it, right? <laughs> Alright, so this floor... Oh, wow. Fire mages, huh? This floor is a little bit easier. You just need to... Oh, there's a lot of new enemies here. Touch this wall, and then run to the other one, and touch that one too. And that will make the trash just appear. Simple. And we will get the infamous lantern. The one that they talked about in the uh, developer's office. Enables the user to see ghosts. Okay. <laughs> ghosts, huh? Yeah, with that one you will be able to see the uh, the warehouse... Or the, the spots you need to put the uh, the boxes in the warehouse. Very, very, hel very, very helpful. But now we have new enemies, so let's fight them and let's see what they can do. This is... The Black Knight. No, not again. I'm not going to do that again, though. I Ow! Bastard. It's not the Black Knight from Fire Emblem, thank god, and 
I'm not gonna freak out because of it. <laughs> Mostly because I... My throat kinda hurt. Yeah. You probably heard that in the last video that my voice was a little... Weird. Yeah, I've been recovering. I've been recovering for a, from a cold lately. And I got a lot of slime in my throat. It's very, very annoying, actually. Couldn't even go to work, actually. That's, that's even more boring, but... Oh, wow. 20 hit combo in this game. That's pretty damn good. But now we... I'm gonna ignore the green mage for now, actually. And I'm just gonna go to the next floor before he shoots me. Thank you. 